Well, let me just uh, be frank and tell you this right away. I mean, this slam thing has been giving me nightmares for, for days now. So I even went to check on Wikipedia to see what I was supposed to do. Do I have to sing? Do I have to dance? No way. <laughs> uh, do I have to write a poem about the technological frontier? Maybe. God. So I just, I finally decided just to step out and think, think deeply about why are we doing this? Why are we meeting tonight to slam about the futures of Sinbio? And I tried to find a why that would make sense to me and that would make sense to the communication policy work we do at the Wilson Center. So this sentence, this sentence kept coming into my mind. And these are the words of a French philosopher I like. We don't assemble because we agree, look alike, feel good, are socially compatible, or wish to fuse together, but because we are brought by divisive matters of concern. And the word divisive is key, of course. Because beyond the excitement of scientific discovery and the dreams of our biofutures, there are some questions lurking in the background of our democratic scene. Questions, hopes, and concern that form a space for people's imagination to operate. And they will operate. So a question as basic as um, what is synthetic biology? What are the epistemic aspirations and tensions? And of course, everybody in this room has an answer. Everybody has probably its, its own definition. Um, and everybody in this room feels comfortable with the concept. But imagine you ask, I don't know, you ask my grandmother, or your grandmother, or Hobbes' grandmother, maybe. <laughs> You might, you might get an answer along these lines. I don't know what it is, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a thing about stem cells and playing God, or a thing about cloning, something artificial and man-made. And if you ask my grandmother, she lives in Europe, she might say something like, oh my God, is that about two products and deadly E. coli? So I turn back to you again and I, I ask you, what do you mean when you, what do you mean by synthetic cell? What do you mean by software of life? What do you mean by artificial life? What do you mean when, when you dream about life as it could be, or life as we could make it be? How do you define success when you work on designing life? What are the hopes, the hypes, and the boundaries? Now, I, I may turn to my younger sister, and you know, she's the teenager type, so she might say something like that. Is this a big deal anyway? <laughs> Who knows, I mean, is there a way of knowing? How do we communicate about this? How do we communicate about this, about how this new science will impact individuals in society? So let's keep into this all uh, family business. It's kind of ridiculous and funny, but, and here comes my dad. He's older, he's wise, he's a doctor. And he will tell me something like, when you don't know, you look at the past. So how well have we managed the introduction of other technologies? Have we as a society learned anything? Well, we had some hopes and some fears. We had some successes and failures. Among others, failures to anticipate, failures to, to oversight, spanning from food, drugs, oil spill to finance. So there is a, there is a trust gap. <coughs> now in this space populated by visions of the future, dreams, fears, lack of trust and dissenting voices, can we still cohabitate together? Is there a way for all of us to survive together while none of our claims, interests, and passions can be eliminated? So let me just answer by a final thought. Um, I think it makes sense potentially to continue to have in-depth discussion about Symbio with different parties at the table, the scientists, the experts, the regulators, <coughs> sociologists, civil society. Because if the aspiration is actually to answer some of the questions you and I, you and I have raised tonight, I think we shouldn't be afraid to promote informed and open discussion. And this beyond the frustration, the polarization, and the matters of concern that emerge with any communication attempt. Because this is about science and society after all. Thank you.